Hello first graders. So all week we have been learning all about vowel diphthongs. We've learned three sounds, but more than three diphthongs. So we've learned O, W, and O, U, which of course say OW. We also learned A, W, and A, U, which say aww. And we learn O, Y, and O, I, which both say OI. O, Y coming at the end of words and O, I in the middle or at the beginning of words. Today we're going to work first on reading some more with these vowel diphthongs and then we're going to work on some spelling. So eventually you're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil so you can do some spelling. So you can get those set up and your reader's notebook and a pencil so you'll be all good to go. All right, let's work on some reading and spelling with all of these different vowel diphthongs. Let's work on reading the words in the word bank first. Oh, you can't see that one, huh? Move it, there we go. Let's start with this one. Found. Toys. Paw. Town. Boy. Paul. This is a hard one. Think about what this E is doing to this C. Choice. It's a soft C. Oh no. Mouse. Straw. Join. Growl. Sauce. Another soft C. That's a hard one. Let's see which word we need to spell first. Toys. Toys. T. Oi. O Y. And it was plural, toys. Join. Join. J, j. Oi. Coming in the middle of the word. N. Join. Town. Town. Ow. N. Town. Paul. Paul. P. Notice that's an uppercase P because this is a name. I see two vowel diphthong choices over here. Aw, oh, we need the one that says aw. Oh. So that would be A-U. Paul. Paw. Paw. P. Again, I see two diphthong choices. So we need the one that says aw. Oh. It's A-W. Paw. Found. Ow. Mmm. D. Found. It's a long one. Choice. <gasps> Choice. Ooh, it's a hard one. First, I hear a diagraph in the beginning. Ch. Now we have two diphthong choices. Which of these say oi? Ch voice. O I says oi. Then choice, remember, had a soft C. If it's a soft C, it must have an E at the end. Choice. Mouse. 
Uh-oh, mouse. We have two choices. Which of these say, ow? It's this one, O-U. Ow. Mm, ouse. And a silent E. Boy. Boy. Which of these diphthongs say oi? It's O-Y, and it comes at the end of the word. Boy. Straw. Straw. Here, a blend at the beginning. S-T. Straw. A W usually comes at the end too, right? Growl. Growl. Now we have three diphthong choices. Which of those say ow, like in growl? It's O W. O Y says oi, and A U says aw. So we have growl. Last one. Sauce. Sauce. Which of those diphthongs at the top there say aw? It's a u a o w says ow. Soft c. So then we must have an e. Now we have the word sauce. Excellent. All right, now you're gonna need that paper and pencil because next you're gonna be the one spelling. Let's start easy. Let's start with the word cow. Cow. We get milk from a cow. Cow. Okay, check over your work. Cow is spelled C-O-W, cow. Spell the word how. How are you doing today? How? How is spelled H O W. How? The next word is owl. Harry Potter has an owl. Owl is spelled O-W-L. Now spell the word ouch. Ouch. I got hurt, ouch. Ouch is spelled O-U-C-H, ouch. Now let's spell the word house. House. I'm not doing mouse, but I'll do house. H-O-U. S E house. Now let's spell the word found. Found. I found something I lost. Found. Found is F O U N. D, found. All right, let's try some bonus words here. Let's do the word toy. You can play with a toy. Toy is spelled T-O-Y, it's that oi. 
toy. Now see if you can spell boil. The water has to boil before you can make pasta. Boil. Boil is spelled B-O-I-L. Now let's spell the word choice. I wonder if you saw that one coming because it was the hardest. This is a really long one. C-H-O-I-C-E, choice. Two more. Saw. I saw it with my own eyes. Saw. Saw is spelled S-A-W. Saw. Now spell paw. Paw. Paw is spelled P-A-W. Paw. Nice spelling work. Next, we're gonna use your reader's notebook, so grab that and a pencil. All right, we're actually gonna do two pages in your reader's notebook. I know that this is a long lesson, this is a long one, but math is short today, so hopefully it'll all even out. Anyway, we're gonna start on page 147 in your reader's notebook. On page 147, we're gonna use these clues to fit a spelling word that's over on the side. Number one says opposite of later. What is the opposite of later? Number two says opposite of lost. Number three says a farm animal. Number four says smaller than a city. Number five says the opposite of in. And number six says a bird. Hit pause until you're done with that page. When you are done, the next page is gonna be 149. Just like always, on page 149, you're gonna read the sentences and see which spelling word makes the most sense. Great job working very hard today. I know this was a long one. Thanks for hanging in there. I'm proud of you as always. See you later for more. Bye.